Hey guys, Carrick TV is another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Yotoma Nin series EX, Dino Maru, from Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja the movie, The Dinosaur Lord Splendid Ninja Scroll. This is an extra Yotomian that helps the ninjas in the movie, and can combine with Shurikenjin like the others. So this, this includes a few things. The parts to make Dino Maru, and the Yotoma Nin Shuriken Dino Maru version. So let's get started. So first off, we'll take a look at the Otomian Shuriken, which, as usual, consists of the core part and the Shuriken blade. Looking at the core, it's the standard silver color, with the face part and the sticker. For the face, you can see that the visor has a jagged pattern, making it look like a dinosaur's jaw, with red paint inside to give it a kind of a, kind of a messing look. Then you have the uh, cigar underneath, which depicts lava erupting from the earth. And the kanji here is ka, the first part of kaseki, the Japanese word for fossil. Jurgen blade is painted orange, and has lots of spikes all around it, making it look a little bit more like a saw blade than the shuriken. As usual, it has these stylized ends. And you'll notice that three of these spikes are connected, which is for the sake of the uh, head crest. So, to combine them, you do uh, what you usually do. Putting on the blade, and then rotating to the right. And then it has its standard three sounds. First, the activation. Then the uh, individual sound, and the Otomanin name, and of course it can also be used with the Ninja Ichibanto. To form Dino Maru, first take these two pieces which will become the upper body and hold them together like so, so that they're aligned properly. And take the head and using these two tabs, connect it to these two slots so that it clicks into place. Once that's done, tilt the head down like so. And then take this piece which will become the lower body and tilt it back like that and connect it using these two tabs. Then take the Otonian Shuriken, fold up the face all the way, and attach it to the back so that this piece lines up right here. And finally take the tail, attach it using these two connectors, and bend it like this. And there you have Dynamaru. In this mode he takes the form of a T-Rex and obviously represents the past mecha that have been dinosaurs. He has an orange and silver color scheme with a little bit of metallic gold and metallic green. And he has a little bit of articulation in that you can open and close the jaw, bend the legs forward like that, Move the head up and down, and strain and rebend the tail. If the way this guy looks is a little bit familiar, that's because, like most Sentai mechas from the movies, he is a retool of a past mech, in this case, Paonmaru. The way they did it is actually pretty uh, clever. As uh, you can see, he essentially took the front part of Panmaru and made that the back, so that the back part would come the front. They also did a little bit of modification, in that they removed the tail slash axe blades, 
attached some claws to both the front and back legs and then made it so that the head attaches to uh, the uh, section up here while the tail attaches to the Ottonian shuriken and if you wanted you could uh, squash out, swap out some of the parts though because uh, there are some connectors missing you couldn't really have them uh, doing the same kind of stance and vice versa. Let's transform him into his humanoid mode. We're basically going to want to dismantle him, removing the tail and the upper body. Or the head and upper body, then the tail and the tone and shuriken. First connect the uh, head to where the Ottonian shuriken was and flip up the humanoid mode head, like so. And attach these two parts to the shoulders. Then take the tail and connect it to the back. And there you have Dino Maru's humanoid mode. Now here he looks a lot more like Maru as they have basically the same kind of formation with the exception of the sad tail piece. Though here it's a little bit more strange because on Maru, these pieces became shoulder cannons whereas here you've just got these claws hanging off of the shoulders. And then you've also got this very dinosaur like head where you can see the faces inside a dinosaur's jaw. And it's basically like the uh, Daimaru uh, head turned into a helmet. And in this case, he still has a little bit of articulation, though uh, that is mostly uh, for the sake of combining it with Shuri Kenjin. Which is what we'll do next. So, since the preparation steps for Shuri Kenjin are the same as with Pawan Maru, UFO Maru, and Server Maru, I did those on screen. And you can see my reviews of any of those three to see what that's like, but it's basically just taking Shinobi Maru, making it the right arm, and then taking the right arm and placing it on the back. For Dino Maru, the prep work is basically the same as Pawan Maru, just removing one more part since it has this tail. And fold up the legs, so it's in the same position. Place it in the cockpit. With the handles forward, folded forward, so that it can hold them in the matter of speaking. And then for this, we're going to take one of these and then equip it to the left arm. This will be one of his Dino Maru hammers. Then take the tail, it'll become the Dino Maru grill, folding down this piece like so. And put it in the right arm, or in the right hand. And finally, Fold up the face and attach it to the top. So after that tribal sounding transformation sound, we have Shuri Kenjin Dino. Which is basically just Shurikenjin Pawan with Pawan Maru replaced by Dino Maru, as well as uh, having two different weapons instead of a left and right version of the same weapon. Getting a close up look, you can see the crest in a little bit more detail. It has a bone like look to it. And then it's got the same articulation as usual. 
though, uh, like uh, Panmar, it kind of uh, suffers a little bit from uh, not too much of a good color distribution, and actually, unlike Panmar, it suffers even more just because with this you've got this kind of sunken space within the body. Whereas Panmaru kind of covered it up using the ear pieces. And it's also kind of a shame that you have this other Dynamaru hammer just kind of left over. Though if you want to, you could remove the Dynamaru grill and then put the other one into the right hand. But then this one has nowhere to go, and I really don't like when there are mech combinations that have leftover parts. But besides that, it's not too bad. Overall, Dynamar is an alright Otomian, but nothing to write home about. Though I do applaud Bandai on creatively rearranging the parts of Panmaru to form Dynamaru's Otomian mode. Aside from that, there's really not too much else to it. The uh, Otomian Shuriken has the standard kind of standards you'd expect from one of those. And the other modes just don't do really too much. The humanoid mode, as usual, is just kind of a display piece. And uh, Shuriken Jindano is really just a bit too similar to uh, Shuriken Jinpaon, and I just don't like how it has that leftover piece. So, uh, I guess in this case, it's the kind of thing where if you're going for just one of each kind of combination, then you can kind of pick and choose whether or not you like a Pound Maru or Dino Maru more. Though, uh, I'd probably recommend Pound Maru a little bit more just because it's uh, you know, in the show and so it's used multiple times rather than Dino Maru that's, you know, basically supposed to be a movie exclusive though it might get seen maybe once later on in the series as a cameo or something like that, but it's not too important to get, so it's a pretty easy pass. Now, one thing I just want to mention is that, obviously I kind of skipped over Lion Ho to review uh, Diomar here, but uh, Lion Ho is uh, the usual kind of big mech for the series, so it is... Uh, quite big and quite expensive, meaning I'm not sure when I'm going to get I'll try to get as soon as I can, and when I do, I'll review it. But I'm going to wait, I'm basically just going to wait until I can find it at the right price, at the right time. So, I'm not going to make any definitive promises on when I'm going to review it, but I will review it at some time. And for my next review, I'll be reviewing the surprise feature set from the Kamen Rider Drive movie. So, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, or share it. And you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash krx50. And for now, this is krx50, riding off.